Hello everyone, this is your daily dose of Leap Code. If you are playing a chess game with one white rook, represented by uppercase R, some white bishops, and some black pawns, represented by uppercase B and lowercase P. Stop it! Get some help! Find the number of pawns the rook can capture in one move. Here is your chess ball. You have only one white rook, and there are several black pawns. All the three black pawns can be captured by the rook in the first move. Here is another board, but the white rook is surrounded by four white bishops. No pawns can be captured by the rook. Here is another example. The result will be three. So this is an easy question. Since we know the dots represent white space in this chess block, all we need to do is to type for row in board plus z star board. If r in row, for s in empty space dot join row, dot replace dot by empty space, s dot com rp, plus s dot com pr. Then we'll return the sum. We can skip the run code button. No. Nope. Click the submit. And his name is John C. Let's dig into what's happening in our code. First of all, we need to find the row and the column that contains our only white rook in our chess ball. We can go through all the rows and columns and see if the uppercase R is in our current row or column. Then once we find the column and row, we can just replace the white space in our chess ball, which is represented by a dot to an empty space. And then we will have a string to represent that row and that column. For all the rows and columns we find, which there is only one row and one column, we can just count how many pawns that are next to our rook, and then we will return the result. Incredible. The time complexity for this question is 01, since there are at most 64 blocks in our chessboard. Do you ever look at someone and wonder, what is going on inside their head?